What you're looking at is the aftermath, the destruction, the carnage of a party thrown by Michael O'Donoghue, the former writer for Saturday Night Live. He's the producer and the writer and the director of the television show that could never be seen on television, Mondo Video. Tonight we'll take you into the world, the bizarre world of Michael O'Donoghue, a world where the bizarre is commonplace, the commonplace bizarre, an odyssey of aggressive weirdness. The brave dare not go here. The sane fear to tread where others before have gone mad. For this is not a place which can be easily understood or forgotten. So if you are faint of heart, if there are small children or animals present, dare not go further. For you are about to enter the world of Mr. Mike. Aftermath. My mother? Dead? <laughs> Listen, I'm giving an interview for Evening Magazine, okay? I'll call you back, Dad, a little later. No, no, sorry, can't be bothered now. Bye. <laughs> Such a pest. Sure, that's weird, but that's Michael O'Donohue, the decadent philosopher of comedy, writer for The National Lampoon, <laughs> and twice Emmy-winning writer for Saturday Night Live. Was it a sudden? sudden I couldn't tell he was sobbing too hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. Most of all, Saturday Night Live fans will remember Mr. Mike's least loved bedtime tales. A lot of fuzzy animals who are crushed by a big rock, the end. It's a real fast one, but uh, es essentially that's all that they are. He's eerie, bizarre, gross, decadent, perverse, kinky, and outre. Outre is a word you don't hear that often. As a producer since leaving Saturday Night, Mr. Mike has a distinction not afforded many. He produced a television show television would not air. Well, I was going to do this uh, show for television. Uh, Lorne Michaels was the executive producer, and he wanted me to do something. And I met with um, NBC, with Paul Klein, who was head of programming at that time. And I came up with a combination of doing uh, the Mr. Mike character with the old Mondo Kani sort of things. I don't know what they thought by combining uh, Mondo Kani and the Mr. Mike character, what they thought they were going to get, you know. Uh, it wasn't a dating game, but, um, but, uh, they were outraged and they wanted about a third of it, third to a half of it cut out. And, uh, even if we were talking about doing that, they wanted more than that cut out. They wanted mostly all of it cut out because it had a bad attitude. It does have a bad att attitude. I've always had a bad attitude. Always. I'm earning a living off a bad attitude right now. Teachers always said it'd get me in trouble, but it's great. It's working for me. Stay with us for Marcel Cousteau, the swimming mime, when Mondo Video continues. It's very easy to make people laugh. You know, little dog in your shoe. You know, <laughs> easiest thing in the world. But, uh, see, made you laugh. Dog in the shoe. <laughs> but, um, you know, there's other things to do. And the, using the same, um, how should I put it, the... The same aesthetics can, uh, can do other things, can move human beings to, you know, to, to do other things than simply laugh, you know. I mean, I find Franz Kafka the funniest, uh, he once said, it is enough that the arrow fits the wound. Now, if that isn't funny, what is? Oh, my God, they, they've got Mr. Mike. Does it hurt? Only when I laugh. When you're straight. Faces come out of the rain When you're strange No one remembers your name When you're strange When you're strange When you're 